that we have going on in this guitar right now. Uh, as I said earlier, um, I, right now I have a, a Lawler, uh, Lawler Tron pickup here in the neck, and then I have a Seymour Duncan Al Nico II uh, humbucker in the bridge. So pretty basic, you know, you can find uh, those pickups pretty easily. Um, here's just the neck clean. kind of see it's it's kind of like um, you know a mahogany based guitar what you know for most people that that means a Les Paul um, um, but uh, with a little brighter sound to it you know so it kind of helps cut through the mix a little bit a lot of that has to do with the scale length being a 25.5 uh, or fender scale length um, here's a little just a little bit of overdrive for you I haven't really spent much time dialing this in, but here's a little overdrive as well. Here's the neck. Strat-like, um, and uh, you know, different pickups are just going to sound very different in each guitar. So I mean, you would just need to experiment, you know, and, and that's what I do. I do a lot of experimenting to try to find something that works for me. But um, uh, I will say, um, I would recommend that you call Ricardo and talk about making a guitar with him, having him build a guitar, and um, he has several different. Uh, even original designs that he's come up with in terms of body shape and all that. And this is this is one of them. Um, we kind of took some different guitars that I love and kind of mashed them all together, you know. And uh, so you can probably imagine, you know, different guitars that kind of have something like that shape. But um, anyway, um, he's just got a lot going on under the hood in terms of design. Um, like I said before, he has kind of the mind of an artist, so that, that really helps in terms of um, getting closer to what's in your mind, what, what suits you. Um, he can do the vintage relic thing. He can do very modern, almost uh, pieces of artwork type guitars, you know. And that's, that's, what's, that's one of the things that really intrigued me uh, and made me interested in building a t guitar with Ricardo is that he is versatile in that way. He can build a lot of different types and styles of the guitar and so um, in terms of the electronics and all that um, it's just it's really a unique experience I would highly re recommend it to you to be able to build a guitar from this from the ground up uh, and then choosing specific electronics and then you know uh, trying them out and 
if you got to go back and try some different electronics, you know, Ricardo is just so easy to work with in that regard. But man, the thing that you're not going to get on your own is that ability to uh, craft an instrument by hand. And that's really, uh, this is one of the first times that I've, that I've been able to work with a luthier like that. And um, really that closely, you know, and be able to talk about every little detail and, Man, there's just something really cool uh, about seeing the final product, and and uh, he calls it his baby. So at some point, I know he expects to get it back, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So anyway, thanks again, man.